Hey you guys, uh, Mangus here. So I figured before doing any more um, like comic hauls or, or going any further, it's probably best just to, to show you some of my comic collection so you know where I'm at, uh, you know what I'm into and, and whatnot, and, and hopefully you like it obviously. Um, this isn't everything, uh, but these are kind of my favourites and, and my key issues. So yeah, without further ado, I'll, uh, let's go through them. So here is Incredible Hulk 37, uh, not really a key or anything, but it is probably my favourite cover. Just love the colours, uh, I believe it's by Dale Keown, um, but yeah, just gorgeous, that, that green and purple really, really sets it off. Um, I'm currently trying to collect Spawn uh, 10 through to 1, uh, so here's Spawn 5, obviously by uh, Todd McFarlane. Love it, Spawn. I mean, look at that. How nice is that cover? Like Spawn 9, the first Angela. Just beautiful detail. Uh, here, Eternal Warrior 4 by Valiant. This is the first appearance of Bloodshot. So I kind of bought this as a as like a speculative issue, really, because there's a Bloodshot film coming out next year. Um, so, you know, we'll see how well that does. You know, if it, if it does as well as Deadpool or something, then this could be worth a, a bit, bit of money. But yeah, I haven't read it or anything, but still, we'll see what happens. Um, I'm also collecting Spider-Man 51 to one. Hopefully one day we'll get my hands on that number one, but here is 51, the second appearance of Kingpin. Uh, here is 47, Craven. So I think all these covers are done by um, John Romita, but yeah, 43, it's the concluding part of uh, the Rhino's first storyline, there's 41, the first appearance of Rhino, who potentially could be in the next Spider-Man film, which I don't know about you, but I don't really rate the Spider-Man films, uh, 22, So that's it from 50 to 1, but I've got Amazing Spider-Man 252, which is obviously the first alien costume uh, after Secret Wars 8. Which is a beautiful book. The colours are just amazing on there. Uh, Spider-Man 300, the first full Venom. Iconic cover. I'm sure you all, you've all seen this one. Uh, nothing special, X-Force 1, but sealed with the cable card inside. X-Force 2, which is the second appearance of Deadpool. Uh, New Mutants Annual 2, the first appearance of Psylocke. And I actually found this in a 50p um, box at London Comic Con, which was a great feeling. Lovely colours, love the pink. New Mutants 87, obviously the first cable, and again a bit of a speculative uh, comic. You know, obviously we've heard the cable's going to be in Deadpool 2, so we'll see how he gets on. Hopefully the value of that will go up. Uh, Uncanny X Men 221, first Mr. Sinister. I think it's by uh, Mark Silvestri, that cover work. And then 222, which is just, it's not a key really, but it is just a, a beautiful cover. Wolverine and Sabletooth going at it. Uh, X-Men Annual 14, which is the first cameo of Gambit. And Gambit is one of my favorite comic book characters. Very pleased to have that. And then obviously, X Men 266, which is the first full gambit. Um, <clears throat> X Men 10, Jack Kirby cover. Obviously, a huge Silver Age key. First Silver Age Kazar, first Magor, first Swamp Men. You know, Jack Kirby. And I actually bought this in a, a second-hand bookshop for about 15 quid. 
You know, it's not in great condition, but it's X-Men 10. Then Batman 404, Year One, Part One. Obviously the four-part Frank Miller storyline. I'm trying to collect through to 407. But yeah, probably one of my favorite, favorite actual storylines going. Superman Man of Steel 18, First Doomsday. Tomb of Dracula 10, First Blade. Avengers 57, First Vision. Love that cover. Uh, then a very iconic Neil Adams cover, Green Lantern. Uh, what is it? Green Lantern 76. But yeah. You know, again in poor condition probably, but I'm just just happy to have it. And again another Neil Adams cover, Batman 251. This, I believe, was the first time they uh, DC actually took back Batman and from the TV show and tried to get him back to his, his much darker roots than all that silliness. Iron Man 1, say no more. Daredevil 7, which is the first time we see Daredevil in his red outfit. Again, a bit of history there. Um, probably one of my favourite comics, X-Men 94. The first new X-Men team in X-Men, other than uh, the giant size annual. But yeah, just love, love, love that cover. And this is the comic that my uncle gave me, uh, Action Comics 1, the first Superman. In considering its age, you know, 1938, in really good condition. So yeah, I know it's worth quite a bit. I haven't really looked into it, but you know, obviously being the first Superman, you'd think it would uh, think it'd be worth something. But yeah. So thanks for that. Um, hope you liked it. Uh, if you did, please give me a like. Subscribe if you if you like to see more stuff um, and comment. Let's get into it. I'd love to talk to you guys. Brilliant. Cheers. Bye bye. Hey, 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 hey.